So in this video we're going to start talking about solving or rearranging formulas but with this particular type of question, which I'm going to put up in a minute, we're going to need to use factorisation. Okay, so this is um, generally an A grade type question um, at GCSE. If you go to mathsrap.co.uk, that will give you uh, quite a lot of information and also a couple of downloadable worksheets to have a look at. Or if you subscribe, I think it's up there somewhere, if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you'll also have access then to the higher uh, level videos and also the foundational level videos. So this is a higher level question and it's going to look something like this. So P equals, so I'm just going to check my notes, that's Q divided by Q minus 100. Now at the moment, P is the subject of the formula. What we need to do is manipulate this formula in order to make Q the subject. So it's a little bit tricky because we've got a fraction. It's also a little bit tricky because we're going to need to use a little bit of factorization as well. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this. I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by Q minus 100. Um, and like before, it's better to work down the page, if you can, with the equal sign in the middle. And also show to the examiner that you're, each of the steps that you're taking. So I'm going to multiply both sides by Q minus 100. Now if I do it to this side, I have to do it to this side, but Q minus 100. And on this side, uh, because I've got a division and a multiplication, it cancels each other out. So on this side, that's great. I've just got a single value of Q. Okay, now if it was that straightforward, I would have answered the question, I would have been quite happy. However, the problem is, is that on this side, I'm multiplying P times Q minus 100. So in other words, I'm going to get this. Now that's okay, except I've got a value of Q in there. And really I need my Q's on this side. Okay, so um, as a bracketed term or two terms multiplied together, I'm just going to multiply those out so I can deal with them separately. So I'm going to multiply those two. And I've got on this side PQ minus 100P, and that's going to equal Q that side. Okay, so I've got Q here and Q here, and really I want Q's one side and everything else on the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to um, make sure that I get my P's on one side as far as I possibly can. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 100p to both sides, plus 100p. Okay, so on this side now, I get pq on its own, because minus 100p plus 100p means that I've got zero. On this side, I'm going to have q plus 100p. Okay, now it looks like I'm not much better off, um, but what it'll allow me to do now is to move Q over this side by taking Q away from here. So if I minus Q from there, um, I also have to minus Q from this side. Okay, so on this side, that's going to give me 100P. On this side, it's going to give me PQ minus Q. Excellent. So I'm now in a little bit stronger position because this little bit will give me the ability to do a bit of factorization. Uh, just a couple of things. PQ minus Q isn't P on its own because PQ is a term. So let's say P was 3 and Q was 4. That would be 3 times 4, which is 12. Um, is not the same as minus Q, which would be um, 4. So you can't treat them as the two separate, as two complete terms and work them together. You've got to treat them entirely separately. Okay, so on this side, what I'm going to do is 
take Q out of these two terms and move it to one side and then multiply something in the brackets. So the first term is PQ, so that's relatively straightforward because Q times P is PQ. Um, the other term is, is OK. If I make that minus 1, it means then that if I just um, try to re-multiply this back again just to check, I've got Q times P, which is QP, and I've got Q times minus 1. Well, minus 1 times Q is minus Q. So that's correct. So this is the factorization of PQ minus Q. On this side, I've still got 100P. So I'm going to leave that as 100P. Well, that's great because now, because I've got Q times the bracketed terms, if I divide both sides by P minus 1, it means then, finally, I'm going to be left with Q on one side. So what I'll do is I'm just going to tell the examiner that I'm going to divide by P minus 1. So on this side, I've got Q on its own. And on this side, uh, bearing in mind I have to do exactly the same, so divide by P minus 1. So on this side, I'm going to have 100P divided by P minus 1. And that would be the way then to make Q the subject of the formula. Now, I appreciate that's probably taken a little bit of time to work through. And I think the key things that you have to look for is to find, try to find a way to firstly get rid of a fraction and make it into a straight linear equation. And then to manipulate this, making sure that you show the examiner every single step of the way, um, to manipulate it, to make sure that you get, if you can, um, Q's on one side. Now, once you've got Q's on one side, even if you have a, uh, a term which is, in this particular case, PQ, it will allow you then to factorise and use that factorisation in order to solve the equation that you've got. Um, I hope that's been helpful to you. Um, please do have a look at mathswrap.co.uk. That will give you quite a lot of information. Um, or subscribe to the YouTube site. If you found it useful, please do post or pin or tweet um, or add a comment below, and I will do my best to get back to you. And I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.